cute curtain, the dark days. Oh. The Iron Pyramid are a well-oiled machine. Serrated cogs lubricated on aptitude, ambition, and ruthlessness. In this epoch of information and equality, the Illuminati is king. The ruled do not complain if they detect no ruler. The Illuminati spill seminal thoughts into the gravid heads of the masses, while the other factions flail to the old dance. There was dead body back there. There was. There are more. I am just not going to deal with that. Good. Good decision. Uh, I might be lost. Yeah, I... I actually don't come down here all that often. I don't think anybody does. At least, mm. well, you know... Hi, lady. Yeah. Yeah, she she's cool. You can, You can trust her. Uh, let's see. Nope. God damn it. Where are you? Okay. I gotta think. <sighs> Come on. Wicker, where did you do this thing? Okay, there we go. That's it. Yep, that's definitely it. Defeats in Europe taught the Illuminati to play more subtly. Since then, they have been the most secretive of the three siblings. Their clever fingers learnt to make shadow puppets, decoy ciphers dance on the dank wall, while conspiracy theorists chase the echoes of Freemasons, Bilderbergs, and Bohemians the true Illuminati have room to work. So, um, yeah. <laughs> huh. Yeah, spray paint? Maybe he left a message. Maybe he did. Nonsum qualis erum. I am not what I used to be. Ah, uh, yeah, know the feeling. Okay, okay uh... Okay, so... Can you, um... Let's see... Okay, good. Actually, you're in position. This says that... Okay, this is 12 o'clock. Yep. This is 6 o'clock. This is 9, and this is 3. Yeah. I think you can figure the rest. Yes. So, let's see. Non sum qualis aram. So... Um... Okay, middle seven. Middle seven. I mean, not wait. Le what? I mean, if we, okay, like if we if like the the first layer is the okay, inside. Okay, one. Okay, this is A, B, C, and D. Okay. Uh, okay, B seven. B seven. Okay. Uh. B10. B7 again. A5. C9. And B8. My preparations went flawed. Yeah! In rendering my body able to survive the hell dimensions, I have made myself sick among humans. Each climate brings a new fever. I retch at the touch of sunlight on my skin. My dietary requirements extreme. I am 
become some Victorian storybook monster. And no crossing point, no portal will do. I travel the world searching a, a, a leper, a prodigal. This one won't do, and this one won't do. It must be fresh. Exposed. I am driven. Sakharissa waits at the border. Okay. That's a thing? Yep. That sure is a thing that just happened. Oh, let's see. Where's the second picture? I don't know where that is. I think that might be London. How does one stairwell tell you it's London? In architecture, the cobblestone, the, the stones on the building there. Like that definitely looks like old world Londony. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just trying to think here. It definitely doesn't look like New York or Seoul. What about Seoul? Well, Seoul's got a different feel to it. Oh, I mean, like, why did you bring up Seoul? Oh, did you not? Oh, yeah, that's that's where the dragon live. Okay. Yeah. This seems like information I should have received earlier. And I am sorry. No, you're not. I am. So, I mean, the, do you, you do know that the Templars are in London, right? Oh, yeah, of course they are. Okay. Actually, yeah, someone was telling me that there's a pub I should check out here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't really get out much, you know, except to the field. Mm-hmm. So... Or for naked hot dogs freaking. Ah... <sighs> Look, I don't think I don't think going literally across the street counts as getting out. Look, you know, you, you got to take whatever victories you can. Plus, I was going. I was originally planning to just go in my, go in the sweated pants I slept in. So, mm -hmm. you know, when your sweatpants radius expands, you know, that's not a good sign. Yeah, you know, the radius in which you're. I'm willing to go in just sweatpants. I just I just don't go anywhere in sweatpants. I oppose sweatpants on principle. I oppose most pants on principle, but I mean I seem to be in the minority there. Hey. What is that's doing here? Oh god, the Orochi are everywhere. Flip the devil! The charismatic CEO, designation Samuel Chandra. The upright position, a handsome face sits at the center of the eight subdivisions at Orochi HQ in Tokyo. He smiles from the glossy magazine covers, eyes following you across the room. The reverse position, he stands against the window, looking down from the apex of a skyscraper. Even this height does not dizzy him, but if he presses his face against the glass and bites his tongue, he tastes blood and feels a fleeting shudder and flutter of recollections that a great height precedes a fall. Why did I just get the image of the poster for Fifty Shades of Grey there? Uh, he does have sort of that look about him. Yeah. Hey, I got that completion feeling. Hello? Uh, Hell? Hello? Listen, you've heard us before. Our voice a prelude to a bloody nose. Look, you've seen the weird geometry of our scribbling. Illuminated mysteries behind the migraine. Our apocrypha is written in the plasma blood of your mobile phone. Read us. Huh. That's... Do not know what to make of that. Really? Uh... 
Oh, hey, it's Illuminati guy. Yeah. I mean, subtle there with the, with the triangle, but... We don't. You know, you know. We, we do not do subtle. Ah. So let's see, just wander around London looking yep. for... Mo oh, so was wait, I was told to stop in here just for a mm. second. And, uh... Wow! She has fairy wings. Yes, she does. And I don't think it's just, like, cosplay. Probably not. I mean... It's a very elaborate... Oh, wow. She... Oh, wow, she really does smell like cinnamon. Ha! <laughs> I'm being creepy. Yeah, you are. Sorry, someone on Twitter told me about that, and I was... About her, and I was just, uh... I don't... Know how to talk to fairies. I know that feeling all too well. Okay, where is this place? Hey, maybe we can stop by that museum while I'm here. Yeah, why not? Huh. I have to figure out where it is. First, I'm looking yeah. for... Oh, there it is. I think that's it. That would be it, huh? Yeah. See, it's a very distinctive stairway. It is, huh? You're right. No. See, I may not know everything, but I I can put stuff together. Clap, clap, clap. Of course, it would have to be three. Three times. It's always three times with magic, isn't it? Yep. Magic and Super Mario. Oh, a tackle box full of spell components. Never seen that before. It's going the full Dresden files here. Yeah, that's where I got the idea. Oh. Um, yeah, I just said that, didn't I? Sorry, I was just looking at the translation ar argument. I didn't... I... Never thing, never mind. Orbis non sufficient. Oh, I know this one. It's the world is not enough. The world is not enough. Exactly. <laughs> but it's such a perfect place to start. Alright, so. You know the deal? Yep. So. Hmm. Okay, um. I'm glad I looked up. You know, so people yeah. so very rarely look up. I know, and that's how you get, you know, nabbed by like the, the, the those things in Half Life. I think they're called barnacles. Yeah, the barnacles. I was thinking like the Roper, but that's like a D and D thing. Yeah, those are on the ground. Yeah, you're right. No, no, the piercers are on the ceiling. Right. Get nabbed by barnacles, piercers, or Spider Man. <laughs> Okay, so Okay, you so you know the drill? Yep. Um A eleven. A eleven? Mm-hmm. B ten. B ten. Um B seven. B seven. B two. Um B seven. B oh, no, wait, wait, no, no, B8, B8. B8. Yes, B8. Uh, B8. And C9. I see those shores aflame when I sleep. I see them when I am awake. I look out at this city's... Dismal shapes, BT tower, blinking feebly in a sky of unfinished grey wash. I cast no reflection. The glass feels alien to the touch. I will not miss this place, no more than I regret the sacrifices I have made. Or those yet to come. Do not plead. Do not rage, I should say. For your language means so little to us. Oh, 
Sakarissa. He really likes his Sakarissa. Otherwise, he just comes off like a fucking hipster. You wouldn't even understand my rage. <laughs> Two months have passed. No time has passed. My fasting is complete. I am divested of excess of appetite. I am stripped of all of my shadow. What did uh, that say? I think it reads Tablua Rasa. Okay, the state is. Slate is scraped clean. Oh, he did I that thing. The... He did that thing where he says a foreign word and then he translates it. Uh -huh. <sighs> yeah, croissant girl. <laughs> croissant. What? What okay, about so, croissant? What about croissants? Uh, don't pronounce it like that. You sound like a tool. You you pronounced it first. But that was a jo mm. Apparently, I'm the only one who watches kids' cartoons. Apparently, you are. What about this? Uh, Septimus. Septimus. On London's fading lights and life I led, barefoot, began on the road to truth. So, Tabitha Rasa. So, he's got a clean slate now. Yep. Close the door on something called Septimus. And the third picture is the fucking hell. I'm pretty sure that was a movie once. What is a... What the fuck is that? I, I have no idea. Ah. Maybe we could try to find... Blue Arasa Septimus. Nice. Well, Septimus just means seven. Yeah, but it could Seventh, be. Seventh, but yeah. It could mean something else. It could be a dude named Septimus. Yaldwick. Where is the Yaldwick? Well, it's in London. That's not helpful. Um, Thank you. The Major's Arcana. Oh, hang on. What? I was looking at a map of the area. There's a place in this part of London called Tablua Rasa. The Scarlet Tea Room. Huh. Now that's just straight out of Twin Peaks. Is it? Oh, yeah, the Scarlet Room. Oh, yeah, see, yeah. I was thinking that's just where the communists hang out. Oh yeah, that too. Mental note. Hmm, where is Tabula Rasa anyway? I don't know, can you get a map of the city? Uh, right in front of me. There we go. Nice of him to lead such obvious and yet not obvious clues. Well, let's go in here. See what... See what the top of the rasa is like. Yeah. Whoa. Oh. Well, that explains some of these Yelp reviews. Why? The stars don't move normally. It's like, look, right there. That's not... You can see like a... Right. You can see like an edge there. It's like a, like a cloaking device in Star Trek. Holy shit. What is it? I don't know. And they built a hotel in this place? I guess. Oh, I got this crazy extra dimensional space of floating cubes and stars. Let's put a hotel there. Well, it's got atmosphere. Thank God. Yeah. I mean, if you, if you took a date here, you know, I'm sure... He or she would be impressed. Yeah. Oh, so apparently the rooms are named. Well, there's only like. It's only eight rooms here? Apparently. No, there's like ten. 
Yeah, but it starts at, at Tertius. Oh. oh. Hmm. Guess there's some private rooms, too. Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's just jump into that Tesseract. I guess. And apparently I'm in a room where that he just left his stuff Wait, in. Look what at the that, hell? there's a whole bunch of smaller cubes. Do you think they have t smaller rooms inside them? I do not want to think about that. Shake one and listen for screaming. And... His stuff is just here, left in the hotel room? What? Let's see what he's got. It's true. Everything is true. Mankind and demonkind lived as one. All my work has led me to this, and yet, still, it changes everything. They were right to suppress this history, man and demon both, for its magnificence is fracturing. My mind is stripped naked by the possibilities. The historian's curse is to forever be on the outside, looking in on former glories trapped in amber. What if one had the means to return them? What if one had the will to do it? What's this say? Hmm. I, uh... 1977. So it took him ten years after this to... Okay. Maybe just save this for later. Yeah. But, because I know where it is, the museum, which apparently they texted me earlier. How convenient. Did they, did they know I was coming? Uh, they might have. Who knows? Time doesn't seem to work right anymore. No, it doesn't. I mean, you technically got that text message y five years ago. <sighs> Let's find this place. Let's see. New Leicester Square Vampire League. Knights Temple of the Truth. Well, it's good to know Sleeping that... Sleeping Infant Swallows B. What? Uh -oh. oh, dear. Oh, that's not good. Fucking lizard men. Lizard men are real? Actually, okay, I don't know that one, but I mean... I assume so? Everything else is. Okay, so... That's tr that's right. Everything is true. Nothing is nothing is permitted. Is, is that the? No, I can never. Is that backwards? I can never keep it straight. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, look at that! It's fire in the. Uh... Oh, I guess they just reopened recently. Mm -hmm. Check my channel at E11 IOT do her. What? Maybe it's, uh, it's a YouTube channel. Oh, that's Elliot, not E11. Hmm. In summary, we too blithely dismiss it as an unnatural disaster, uh, an aberration, a realm of theatrical fire and brimstone. If you would truly understand the hell dimensions, consider it a starving dog, maddened, rabid, with an unfulfilled desire for life, our life, life on Earth. We use that as a bargaining point. I put it to you that this exploitation disgraces us all. We look at the demon and we see only spit on the mirror of our world, not the reflection itself. Huh. Short lecture. Yeah. I mean, I was expecting, like, at least, you know, a TED talk or something. We were there in 77. Theo's lecture, like much of his academic career, revealed glimpses of occult genius. In short, we were interested. 
When he came to New York in 85, it seemed like the whole thing was falling into our laps. Unfortunately, we made the mistake of letting things play out. Ugh, never again. He did his little seances, and then poof, he was gone. Lesson learned, when a road cult genius strolls into your basement, you strap the bastard down. That seems like a rather specific le lesson to learn. It's it's useful.